FSR 3 is finally here. Thank you, AMD. What Nvidia has done is not right for gamers. Okay? I've been waiting for this moment. I haven't seen it yet. I just open Forspoken. This is the demo version. I go to settings. Oh, this is so amazing, man. Look at that. AMD FSR 3 frame generation. And you know what my, my plan is? Look at this. Right now, I have 100 hertz, 100 FPS, and I am using OLED Motion Pro High on my LG C1. So the plan here is to go from 50 frames per second to 263 frames per second. Thank you, AMD, for upgrading my PC for free. Okay? Take this one, Jensen. <laughs> Let's see how it looks. Man, I'm excited about it, man. I hope it looks good. I want this to look good, man. I've been waiting for this since I got this LG C1 and I tested this motion interpolation. We have uh, D-Judder, D-Blur on this LG C1 OLED. We can also use it with Black from Insertion at the same time. And man, it looks so much better, but the input lag is terrible. So I was like, man, if these TVs can do it, these GPU companies, I mean, NVIDIA, can do it much better, okay? But of course, the more you buy, the more you save. Yeah, it's, got, it only, it's only gonna work on the 40 series. And I was like, man, this absolutely sucks. That is wrong. It should work on my 30 th series GPU. But yeah, it is what it is. I'm sure after this, <laughs> we're, we're gonna get that frame generation from NVIDIA after this, I'm sure. Because there's no reason for it not to work. The, 30, the 20 and the 30 series GPUs have the optical flow accelerator, okay? That's just a shenanigan from, from NVIDIA. So let's see how this looks, man. I'm really excited about it. This is just a cutscene, 30 FPS cutscene. It's, no, this is already in-game, okay? 100 FPS. Let's see. No. I don't want any tutorial. Let me walk. No. Let me walk. Let me control the camera. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? No, no, no. This, this, there's an issue here. This is not working right. I think this is 120 hertz for some reason. Yeah, I have to go to borderless mode. This is 120 hertz. Let me play, please. Okay. Yeah, I have to change because what's happening is I'm getting jutter because uh, the game is at 120 hertz. And so what I have to do is go to borderless mode because I'm on full screen. So in borderless mode, I have 100 hertz on the NVIDIA control panel. So now in borderless mode, this is going to pick up the settings I have on the NVIDIA control panel and now it should work. Exactly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's working. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Amazing. <laughs> oh man, this is so amazing. I love it, man. Holy shit. This game is trash, man. I want this to come to all the games. I don't want to play this. Oh, man, this looks so good. Look, my GPU right now is at, you know, 88%. So this is going to drop. I would need to adjust the in-game settings. But what's going on right now is that I am getting 100 FPS delivered to my LG C1 OLED and with OLED Motion Pro High. It is just 
magic, okay? We're going from 100 FPS <laughs> to look like 263 frames per second, bro. This is amazing, okay? This is just... Woo! I cannot wait to play all, all my games like this. And of course, I decided to go with 100 because I know this game is, is, is very, very demanding. It looks like garbage and it is so demanding. That's why I knew I cannot get 120, but I can get 100. Man, this looks so good. Thank you, AMD. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will consider my next purchase to be an AMD GPU. I will consider it. Thank you very much. This is so amazing, man. It looks so good. So let me see if I can. You know, I am happy. I am happy. I don't want to see any defects, okay? <laughs> so the defects that I see is just the game that looks like garbage, <laughs> okay? But I'm talking about the motion here. Of course, the hair render is like crap. Okay, but let me get real. Let me see if I can notice any occlusion artifacts. So usually the problems that we have with interpolation are occlusion artifacts, okay? And I've seen it with, especially with my TV settings, okay? So occlusion artifacts are very easy to notice when you look at something like the in be the between the legs of the characters, when you move, I should see artifacts, and I do, I do see it, but that's to be expected. So now the question is how bad are those artifacts and are those artifacts related with just the TAA, the temporal, you know, or FSR, to, or just FSR to nothing to do with frame generation. I do see it. I do see the trailing artifacts, but this is so much better than the interpolation from my LGC one. So much better. Like it's, it's a minor very minor artifacts here in between the legs. I can see it. Not a deal break, not a deal breaker at, at all. So when I'm looking at the character surrounding this surrounding the silhouette of the character, we should also see some disocclusion artifacts. But I don't know if this is just related with the temporal thing, you know, with FSR. I don't know how much of this is because of frame generation or because of, of the of the game. So I yeah, I see the defects surrounding the character, but I was I was expecting that. It is it is to be expected. It is to be expected, but I would I would need to see this in other games that actually have very good implementation of um of you know upscaling or TAA or, or or FSR, but this is a very very bad example. Very 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 terrible looking game. Absolutely horrendous. Um, so yeah, this is like the worst example. And Immortals of Avium, that's just pure garbage, pure garbage. So yeah, I just need to wait until this comes for most games. Uh, hopefully, someone can make this work for every single game. The, the modding community. This looks very good, man. Emotion, you know, when I'm looking at the at the scenery, no defects. Okay, of course, in terms of motion, I'm talking about. Whew. And the reason why I step the camera back is because you can see the motion clarity better when you when you are when I'm farther away, just because. Uh, there is less pixels per degree of view, basically. That's why you can see, you can appreciate better the motion. So one thing that I see is that the HUD, it seems like the HUD is being refreshed at, um, at half the refresh rate or something. It is not updating at 100 uh, FPS because I'm getting double image on the HUD. I'm getting double image. Double? Or triple? No, it's just double. Yeah, the HUD looks double. That might be an issue with the game not refreshing the HUD. Nothing to do with FSR, or it might be FSR. The HUD looks double. So another thing is that 
this is now working with uh, G-Sync. Someone told me in the comments. I posted a community post. I also watched the video before uh, when I was installing the game. And this is now working. It seems like it is now working with G-Sync. I'm going to test that. But I want this mostly for All in Motion Pro. So I, I wouldn't care that much if it doesn't work uh, with uh, G-Sync, with VRR, basically. Although, of course, it would be better if it works. Uh, hopefully, they, they fix that. But this is what I wanted. I wanted this to, to work with a lock frame rate like this. See? 100 FPS, rock solid, no drops. I mean, there's no way I could get 100 FPS on this game. No way. <laughs> and it looks like garbage. But no way I could get 100 FPS. I don't know why. There's nothing going on here. <laughs> it's not like a big drop, you know, distance or nothing here. But yeah, it is what it is. Very happy with this, man. Very happy. It looks so good. The defects, yeah, if you look for it, they are there. The input lag, okay, the input lag. It doesn't feel very responsive. It doesn't feel very responsive. Um, right now, AMD is saying, uh, uh, the NVIDIA overlay is saying render latency 17 milliseconds. That's very, very low for what it is. Uh, but we don't know if that is picking up the what's going on here with the interpolation. It doesn't feel very responsive, to be honest. Like, ta-ta, 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 ta-ta. It doesn't feel very responsive. But I am at, fi I'm at, I'm at 100. I don't know, 120 might feel much better. But yeah, it doesn't feel very responsive. Ta-ta, ta-ta. But I am not familiar with the game. So I don't know how responsive this game uh, feels. Like, I, I didn't play it. I just opened it for the HDR settings. I never played the game, really. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't feel very responsive, to be honest. Uh, it's not a deal breaker for a game like this. I don't really care that much. I mean, I don't care about the game, but... <laughs> what I mean is that, you know, a third-person game like this, like... It's not a shooting game. I don't think it's a big deal, but... The thing is the motion clarity, man. Motion clarity is fantastic. So good. This is just amazing. Truly amazing. The HUD being double image does bother me a lot. I don't know why, why, why that is happening. I'll see if I can figure that out. Uh, but yeah, the input lag is very bad, to be honest. Uh, because the render latency is like 9.5 milliseconds right now. Uh, that's what the NVIDIA overlay is reporting and it doesn't feel responsive at all. It doesn't feel responsive at all. But again, I need to test this more in, in other games to see because I am not familiar with this game. I don't know how this game feels. I would need to turn it off and do more testing. But these are my f genuine first impressions. It looks absolutely amazing in motion. It doesn't feel very responsive, but I would definitely play the game like this. I mean, I would. it wouldn't even cross my mind <laughs> to turn this off just to get a little bit better input lag. No way. Because, <laughs> you have to understand, even if I can get without it, even if I can get like 70, 80 frames per second with a little bit of better input lag, think about this. It is not going from, for me, on my LG C1, it is not going from 100 FPS to 70, 80 FPS. No. It's going from 263 FPS in motion to 70. Okay, the difference is absolutely gigantic. <laughs> That's why it wouldn't even cross my mind to turn this off. I don't care if it has defects, I would still use it. And right now, what I'm seeing is just absolutely amazing. Like, I, I don't see any deal breaker uh, defects here. The input lag, I would need to test a first person shooter, see how it feels. Um, this doesn't feel responsive. Ta ta, ta ta, ta ta, ta ta, ta ta, ta ta. It doesn't feel responsive, but it just looks so good, man. I love it. Absolutely love it, man. Because again, this this game is just garbage looking. It performs like trash, at hot trash. I mean, I installed this game. It's just, no, no way. I'm playing this. It's, it's trash, absolute trash. 
I just installed it for, for this. And I might play it <laughs> because I'm so excited about this technology. It looks so good, man. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. These are my first impressions. I need to test it more, test different, um, you know, turn it off, on back again, test the VRR issue or whatever. But this is just so good, man. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Thank you, AMD. Thank you. Okay. What NVIDIA have done <laughs> is not right for gamers. Okay. It is not. Okay. So let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.